Welcome to Hope and Sunshine Fine Art Studio. This is where our video classes begin and where you will learn to create, create art from, from your heart. heart. We, we hope, hope you, you enjoy. enjoy. Welcome. Welcome to Hope and Sunshine Fine Art Studio. Thank you for being here with me. And um, I wanted to thank all the people who are calling me and giving me wonderful report, reports and feedback. I am very grateful. I'm very grateful also to the board commissioners of the Fulton County who are making this possible by sponsoring these classes. They are totally free for, for you today. Uh, I have, uh, this week we have some problems. Uh, my technician lady got sick with the COVID-19, unfortunately, but she's getting much better. And now I have Marco helping me, which is a wonderful friend and other artist who's be making possible this to be a, a fabulous class again. We're gonna be doing right now um, a very nice, uh, and I wanted to show you guys, uh, Let's see if this camera could get it better. Uh, we're going to be creating uh, a butterfly. But instead to do this yellow flower, because it's Christmas, I'm going to add uh, a poinsettia. In that way, we make it add more Christmassy. I hope that you guys enjoy doing this because this is very, very easy to do. Don't get scared. Remember that I always be teaching you one step at a time. And we're going to begin doing the primary sketch. I need to uh, let you guys know that as some of these are very easy to do. And it is just a matter of... Uh, don't don't get <laughs> uh, pessimistic and just try. Uh, I always find out that when you um, have any challenge, the best thing that we could do is just uh, be cal calm, be um, assertive, and be uh, uh, easy to um, say do things that it will help you in uh, getting the courage to. Uh, 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 accomplish anything that you want and that happened to me in this week I got scared when I heard that my beautiful technician she got sick with the COVID-19 because it's not because she's working over here it's just because I was very worried for her life but fortunately she's a very strong lady and she's okay she's just having some bad time but it's not so bad like uh, is is we um, that it could be. I have a wonderful friend over here, Marco, which is um, one of my best friends and, and colleague over here, and he's taking care of the, the technical part of these uh, classes, and I'm going to begin to do this with uh, doing the preliminary sketch. Uh, Marco, can you just turn this other camera in that way I could just show perfect. Marco, switch the camera and now we have a wonderful way to begin this. I'm going to begin my um, my uh, center, the center of the poinsettia, just making little balls around because the poinsettia have in, in the center uh, very, very minute uh, ways, uh, little, little round seeing that it is the pistils and the uh, female and male uh, organs of the flower and we're going to create the first the first um, little leaves remember that poinsettia is one of the christmas wonderful um creation of nature uh, because it is a flower, but it's just leaves who make the flower. And it is fabulous to see how nature could give you, uh, in Christmas, this kind of a gift. 
I'm doing these center pi pistols, which are very, very small. And we're going to create the other side with bigger pistols in between. The other, the other petals are a little bit bigger. And this is very easy to do. Remember that in the center of the each uh, leaf, because this is leaves, are the flower or the uh, the flower um, uh, nervous system is what the flower bring their own juices for the flower to grow really good. I hope that you could see this because it's very easy and I cannot do too big um, and strong lines because later on it will show up with the water. Remember that we are using watercolor uh, uh, medium and if I do it too strong uh, it will not really good for because it will show. I'm doing this real quick because we're going to concentrate in creating the butterfly. I want to talk about butterflies because I always admire how nature uh, creates a butterfly. And uh, because I am a, a teacher, a science teacher, I've been telling my students that nature does uh, a wonderful scene with a butterfly because I want to show you uh, something very uh, um, fabulous to, for you to learn. But if, this is a wheel that I use in my class to show how the butterfly began. began with little eggs and this is the stage one. The, the butterfly become a larva that you will see that is a, a, like, a, like a worm. And that larva keep growing and start becoming a caterpillar. Uh, the caterpillar uh, is a fabulous thing that eats a lot to make themselves a little chubby and get enough energy to keep working and become a butterfly. This butterfly, this caterpillar, when it is already ready, uh, around uh, three weeks of his life, become a, a pupa. It, it, it involves herself in a protective shield that is called chrysalis or a pupa and it starts sleeping and growing itself inside of this protecting shell and later on the stage five after about two weeks after that the butterfly starts to emerge out of the uh, the chrysalida and uh, became a flying butterfly which is a stage six and as you will see how butterflies are going um, around your garden and around many places that they've come over to. Their life is very short, but they are so wonderful and beautiful. This is a monarch which comes and travels from Mexico to here and goes almost to Canada. And it's unbelievable that an animal, um, uh, uh, insect like this, which is so uh, fragile, could be flying so such a long distances and um, enjoy the life of many people who like to see butterfly. And I, ho I hope that you learn this because I always try to teach things, not only art, I always try to teach things that they are uh, enchanting for my student to enjoy while we are making some, um, some uh, um, artwork. Uh, we are creating today another fabulous thing from nature and one of my um, pastime is to make research with butterflies around the world and the one that we're using today uh, is a beautiful butterfly. Let me just show it to you again. This butterfly name is the leopard lace wings 
and it's a very rare butterfly from um, leaving India in southern China and Indonesia. And uh, when I go and do research, I always look for something unusual. And to me, her beauty inspired me to paint this painting. That um, and I, I have a collection of six of them. And I'm going to keep doing this because it is not only a wonderful thing for uh, a visual thing for giveaway as a, a gift or sale because I sell my paintings, but it's also a learning process from me and from my buyers or from my students. And this is what we're going to do today. I have already my poinsettia almost done, and we're going to quickly do my butterfly right here. One of the things that I admire in nature is how nature takes their time to do things. And I'm going to create my butterfly right here among these petals of the poinsettia. Maybe it's not the time for her to leave because they don't live in, in our uh, hemisphere. On, on winter time, they come in the uh, uh, summer time, but because this is uh, art class, I'm taking what we call art license, and we're going to create this fabulous butterfly taking the nectar of a poinsettia, and. I'm going to just do the little the little butterfly right here and create the wings. As you can see, the wings are not round, they are a little spiky. And that's what they call her uh, leopard lace wing because it mimic uh, the color mimic a leopard uh, um, colors. Please don't get scared because it's easy to do. All what you have to do is follow me. The wings, they have a lot of uh, um, very, very profound colors and <coughs> As you can see, there is nothing wrong to make it because it's very easy to paint it. It's just make little round spikes and keep going with the spikes. I was about to make another type of butterfly, but this one is so beautiful that I want you guys to enjoy it. Monarchs also are very, very beautiful butterflies. Um, one of the biggest um, thing that I had is that I am very curious when I go to paint something, I do research of what I'm going to paint, not only to do the painting itself, it's just to learn what is involved in that. And I did a research in this butterfly, and it's amazing. She goes to China and the southern China and also to uh, India and it's, it's a fabulous thing to see how a beautiful insect could do so much uh, traveling. I'm doing right here these little dots that she had and later on I'm going to just paint them real quick to see if we have enough time to to do the whole scene today 
if we don't have enough time, we could break this class into classes. In that way, we could enjoy not only doing this, we could enjoy doing it right. And I hope that you guys are okay, and the COVID-19 have not given you so much hard time like it is giving to some people who are sick. I hope that everything is okay with you guys. And I hope that you could enjoy doing this and enjoy also learning a little bit of uh, nature science with it. I'm simplifying some of the um, uh, markings because they are markings. You know, butterflies, they, they have markings to um, tell by the colors, tell other insects to don't eat it. And some of them are poisonous. This one is not poisonous, but it does have um, markings that they are very specific to her. And I'm going to do one over here and one over here. We're going to go as close as we can from the original. And I am simplifying some in that way it would be not so hard to do it today. Remember that we have limited time. And, and that is one thing that I have to be very concerned when I do these kind of paintings. Because unfortunately you could do it on your own time and take your time to do it better, but unfortunately I don't have enough time to do what I would like to do because my time is hard. The, the Facebook don't allow us to do too much. Uh, uh, in two hours, we have to break this in, in two sections of one hour. And one of the problems that we have is time. Unfortunately, it's not our friend. But I'm not scared to uh, embrace some um, challenges because life will be very boring if we don't have challenges. And because I am a very optimistic person, I always think that any kind of problem, it has a solution. And this week, my biggest problem was to find out that my technician uh, was sick. And I was sorry for her because I love her. She's a wonderful lady. But, and I also I didn't want her to be suffering this virus, which is giving such a hard time to many people and causing so many problems. But wonderfully I have my friend over here Marco who's giving me the assurance because I am a good artist but I am not a good in computers unfortunately and also it is impossible for me to be painting and be filming I need to have a, a, a person doing that for me but fortunately we are doing this and I am thanking Marco very much for helping me with this and make this possible. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing to have a good friend. And speaking about friends, I hope that this time of Christmas give you the chance to be thankful for the friends that you have because that's what it's all about in life. If we don't have family and friends to help us in life, life would be not easy to live with. But fortunately, our families and our friends make it possible for us to have better uh, coming in any problem that we have. Um, most of the time, if we are in need, we always have a friend to help us to go through and I hope that I become your friend also decides to be a teacher over here because I'm planning to keep painting after we finish with this uh, portion of the uh, Fulton County who's allowing me to paint and help you guys and help myself 
with their sponsoring. I hope that we could be not losing each other in the future. I hope that you could remember me and come to my classes again because I'm going to keep painting. Uh, in January, I'm going to take a break, but in February, I'm going to start offering classes over here in my studio, in Hope and Sunshine Studio, and I hope that you guys could co come over and help help me or participate the in the classes and enjoy the time that we will have together, either if we are um, offering the classes online or offering the classes virtually in, in, uh, in my studio personally. I'm going to try to offer uh, classes easy for the beginners and, uh, and instructional for the advanced or medium uh, student because I've been uh, teaching for many, many years and I could teach from um, the beginning intermediate and also from uh, advanced. One of the things that I enjoy a lot is to not only create a work of art, I enjoy your company. To me, the feedback that I'm getting from all my students and the wonderful um, friendship that we have is precious because I have many, many good friends from my previous classes, I taught over here in the um, senior center, in the Fareta Senior Center, and I got beautiful friends from there. Uh, I hope that you guys become my friend and my student and come back again, and we could share one or two hours or maybe three hours, not only painting, just becoming friends and enjoying being together. It's one of the things that I enjoy the most. My student became my best friends and also they gave me the uh, assurance that what I do, because I paint with my heart, when I teach, I teach with all what I have. And it, it makes me very happy to see that what I do help many people in many different ways because it's not only uh, learning art, it's also getting together and have some good time and have some uh, wonderful companionship. Okay, I have my butterfly done and I'm going to just create a little bit over here a uh, stem from our poinsettia. And I'm going to begin to do the painting. And maybe I could do one leaf over here. Yeah, let's do one leaf over here. And maybe one here. Okay, we are ready now to start be, uh, painting. And as I tell you guys, uh, I'm going to make my palette, and my palette right now, it is uh, red, mainly. And I'm using my primary red, and I'm going to put a lot because the poinsettia is big. I, I have also, remember that I teach you guys to clean the, the uh, tubes of painting because if we don't do that, the painting get in the middle and uh, become tough when it dries and you can uh, even open the tube or also you lose a lot of painting. Uh, we're going to use also yellow and this is lemon yellow and I'm going to do the same thing with my tubes. And we're going to use also orange. We need a lot of orange. And we're going to need a little bit of black. And I'm going to put the black 
right here because we need to do some green also and a little bit of white. Uh, remember that I've um, been recommending you guys when you are um, in your home to, to have a painting kits that it might have 24 colors and that way you don't have to mix colors. But later on in my next class, I'm going to try to help you to do some technical learning with mixing colors. But it's just timing is my not a good friend here because timing is uh, creating a problem to do technical scene and do painting also. I'm going to do some green, light green and dark green and we are done with our palette. Remember that I've been teaching you guys to begin from left to right in that way you don't get your sleep painting with paint and uh, also that I use the polymer to give a little bit patina to the painting because this is a water soluble co color but it's very mate it's, it's not a shiny and I recommend in my previous class to get Liquitex professional medium which is a polymer who give the the shiny color uh, very very close to what the oil paintings are and also protect the painting because it's a water soluble uh, color it protect the painting to become more um, uh, long lasting it's, it's a very important thing that you could just get this when you become later on more um, advanced in your in your learning I'm mixing a little bit of polymer with my black and I'm going to begin here making my butterfly border. Remember that this border is not uh, straight, it's, it's a little spiky. And we're going to do this part over here. Also remember to do painting at your advantage because there is a line over here. I'm going to just create the line which is white or maybe silver. I'm going to create it making a little bit of waves over here to create the space for the, the rest of the painting. If you learn how to do one solid stroke it will be helpful because one solid stroke it will give you the, the, the illusion. Remember that art is an illusion and it will give you the illusion of continuity and this is very important in every single painting because you need to um, do the painting uh, in between uh, the lining in between whatever it is uh, the space in between to make it appear the closest that reality could be and because I'm very um, I'm very uh, detailful I always learn how to do scenes in one shot in that way I don't have to go over and painting uh, over and retouch painting. I try to do once one time and that's it. Sometimes the um, canvas doesn't help you because sometimes the canvas are depending upon the quality of the canvas the uh, painting uh, could be um, absorbed and you have to retouch but it is very important that you um, try to get uh, things done in one shot because this is the key of the um, becoming a professional. Of course, every scene is like, uh, like I've been teaching you guys that every scene is a matter of training and a matter of us to be also um, uh, consistent enough to keep practicing. Everything that we master, we had to practice before anything 
uh, in your careers, in your life, or whatever, if you don't practice before, uh, the the continuity of your effort is what it, it give you later on the the satisfaction that you accomplish what you want it to be accomplishing. And I be I also preach when I teach to be very consistent and be very very patient. Art is not only a wonderful scene, it's also a test for your patient because every single artist has to be very patient, very observant, very, very um, attuned to whatever is around to be um, inspired, but also uh, the coordination of eye, brain, eye, and hand, it need a lot of patience. It needs a lot of devotion and dedication. It doesn't mean that you have to be frustrated because you cannot do it in the first time. Sometimes, um, if you cannot make something in the very beginning, if you don't give up and keep practicing, the consistency of keep practicing, it will help you to succeed. And this, my best recommendation is never ever give up. Art is a wonderful way to enjoy life because art, it could be, like I am telling you guys over here, these classes are created to uh, help people to uh, have a better time and to have better uh, approach for uh, the, the circumstances that we're having with the COVID-19, who's giving everybody hard time in many different ways. Uh, there is people losing jobs and there is people having troubles because they don't want to get sick and they also there is people who cannot uh, be uh, all the time in their houses uh, in quarantine I am in quarantine right now because my assistant uh, my technical lady is sick and I impose myself the the quarantine because I don't want it just in case I could be a carrier I could be uh, help, um, infecting another person but honest right now I feel good I don't think I'm, I, I'm sick my immune system is helping me a lot and I don't have any problems so far what I would like you to do is just never ever give up be certain that if you have a problem, every type of problem, whatever it is in life, is always have a solution. Uh, what you need to do is just keep practicing patience and also get from your own resources of mental, um, uh, I would say, um, mental uh, consistency don't give up don't give up ever because if you give up you are sabotaging self-sabotaging yourself and that is no fun uh, when I have a problem I always said okay let's just contemplate what the problem could be and let's find a solution and 99% of the time I find a solution and when I cannot find it I wait and Sometimes being um, consistent in, in having patience, sometimes a problem that it could be a problem one day, he has, he helped himself to be soluble. And that happens to me a lot of time. Um, once, when you get panicky and, and it's what the problem is, if you don't do that, if you don't panic, and if you uh, look for the resources in your own uh, friend and in your own way of thinking or any other uh, learning that you could do, look for the, the solution and you will see that solution comes to you very easily. Uh, there is nothing more helpful than one day at a time. And I'm doing right now my butterfly over here who has a little bit of different areas that it has markings 
and I'm trying to get the markings done in that way we could do this quicker. I always I always been uh, finding that in every single test that life put me, I always have the patient to find a solution. And if I cannot find it, I look for advices from other person that it might help me. And I always find the way to solve the problem that I might have. Life is a test and whatever you've been tested, the best thing to do is just be philosophical and be very um, aware that there is nothing that cannot be solved in this life. There is always tomorrow and if you become very patient and become very optimistic, the tomorrow always win because you find out that the next day you have the problem solved. Sometimes some problems they solve by themselves also. It's just we have to be patient and wait for that. I'm getting my butterfly markings over here really quick and I'm going to begin to do the other side of the butterfly wings with the colors. I'm trying to be consistent because I didn't prime this, I didn't have a chance to prime this canvas before and it's absolutely absorbing the paint very quickly and I remember that I in previous classes I taught, I taught you guys how to prime your canvases before ahead of time. I didn't have the chance because I was um, trying to solve the problem that I have for having somebody to help me with the cameras today but so far I am getting this done the best I can my next class is gonna be very Christmassy also and I hope that you enjoy it and like it but I'm not gonna tell you because I love to surprise people I love to surprise my students and I don't gonna tell the uh, of a uh, scene that we're going to do, the theme that we're going to use. It's, it's a Christmas scene, but uh, it's going to be a, a beautiful surprise for you guys. Speaking about Christmas, uh, this is a wonderful time of the year that we tend to be very, very um, philosophical or happy or uh, remembering good friends and getting in touch with people that we don't see too often. And I hope that you guys have the chance to get in touch with family and friends that during the year you cannot be too close to and enjoy listening to their, their um, way to greet you. And, and I have many friends that I um, I'm going to begin to do my Christmas card. Many people are doing lately a uh, Christmas card online and I have received a few already but I don't know maybe I am a little bit of uh, old fashioned. I like to write uh, direct uh, some of my thoughts or give my love to people that I love uh, and I like to send it in a normal old fashioned card. Uh, because to me, uh, a card uh, online, you could delete it and it's gone. But if you send it like we used to do in the past, that card could be uh, a beautiful thing when you are um, in need of uh, getting a friend to tell, tell you that they love you and they remember you with love. Uh, when I feel depressed, which is not too many times when I feel sad, 
I look for those cards that I have received before and see that one of one of beautiful scene that my friend remember me with love and, and and that makes me feel absolutely great. And I do that not too many times I feel depressed, but I'm human being, I, yeah, I could do that too. I, I could have days that I feel lonesome and I miss my my student and I miss my friend because it's very normal to do that. And if I have a, because I wrote them letters and I wrote them cards, if I have, I collect them, and if I have the chance, I look for them when I am, and I see that it's a reinforcement of love, and it's a reinforcement of thoughts, because when you see that people care for you, and, and you see it in a car, and they tell you sweet things, it makes you feel much, much better. It makes you feel love and cherish and it's beautiful. It is a shame that the Christmas is being so commercialized later that they are losing sometimes the meaning of the real Christmas. And this is something that I wanted to talk to you guys today also. It's a shame that we have to be bombarded with so much commercialism because the Christmas, what we are celebrating is the birth of Jesus Christ. But um, people are uh, sometimes um, getting uh, confused in Santa Claus, which was a, a person who lived many years ago in Europe, uh, who did present and became so famous that it, it have become right now um, a symbol of Christmas. And, and to me, it's changing the, the beauty of the Christmas celebration. Uh, last night I was watching uh, how in Spain they uh, use Christmas uh, with procession, religious procession, and, and uh, worship the nativity better than we do over here sometimes and uh, I want to recommend you guys to do not lose the really meaning of Christmas don't let yourself that commercialism change what is the, the real meaning of that people who are spiritual and many artists we are we are very spiritual because uh, art gave us the chance to be um, I would say uh, more um, attuned to spiritual things and I've been recommending many people to do not get uh, in the middle of the um, commercialism of Christmas and remember what the real meaning is and remember to do that uh, yeah, we could exchange gifts, we could buy things that we normally don't do during the year, we could do celebration, we could do many things, but the real celebration is the meaning of Christmas, is the, the birth of Jesus Christ, who is one of the absolutely things who changed humanity for many years. Uh, I don't want to emphasize too much the uh, idea that you cannot be, uh, I would say, uh, contagious with the commercialism of Christmas. But it is good to don't forget what it really means, what really is the purpose of Christmas. I always did do that with my student. Okay, I have this uh, wing of the butterfly almost done, and I'm going to outline the other one, and we're going to begin to do the bigger colors over here, because I believe that this one will be a little bit bigger. Let's just do one stroke to get my butterfly wing done.
as I tell you, this is strokes to make this. One stroke will help better than little strokes. This butterfly is so absolutely beautiful that when I saw this online, I was doing a research for another scene, but I saw this butterfly and really enchant me because it's so rare. I have a whole collection of paintings uh, that uh, I devote for rare butterflies from the world. And one of them was the one who gave me the, the opportunity to be hired here in, in Alfareta uh, uh, Art Center uh, in, in the, uh, um, not in the real art center, it was in the um, section of the uh, senior, cent senior citizen. And I enjoyed very much last year painting over there and helping uh, because I met beautiful ladies then my student was absolutely fabulous and also the director was and the uh, assistant director fabulous people to meet and I, it made me very happy because I came from Arizona I didn't know anybody here and it was absolutely beautiful to have the opportunity to teach over there and meet uh, people over here in, in uh, Georgia uh, I didn't have friends and I have uh, acquired a whole bunch of them by teaching, which I'm very, very, very glad that, that I was hired. I'm simplifying some of the um, markings because we don't have enough time to do it like it she really is but i wanted you guys to enjoy this because it's not so hard to do because if you are at home you could do take your time and do the the paintings with a little bit more time you could do it in different sections but um it gave me absolutely a fabulous way to enjoy doing something that I love to do. Uh, painting to me has been the most fabulous thing. Uh, I began painting as a as a joy and as a something to do and I fall in love with creation and open uh, to me a wonderful, wonderful way to enjoy the time that I'm painting. I am out of this world. I am enjoying what I'm doing. And that's what I find out that art is very, very therapeutic. And that's what we, these classes are for because uh, the title of these classes is Art Could Be a Healing Process. And that's what we have too. Uh, many people have confronted the hardships in, with this COVID-19, very difficult portion of their life have been changed, and sometimes we don't um, we don't know how to um, cope with changes and drastic changes in our lives, and that's what this is all about. Uh, I wanted to help you to cope with whatever problems you might have be, and give you the hope and the assurance that every single scene have a solution because uh, the key of this is never give up. The key of this is just to be positive, be optimistic and be very, very uh, attuned with your own ways to cope with problems to solve the problems and get yourself with the reassurance that yes that you could make it and that is a wonderful thing to have when we find out that we could just cope with problems and solve them and, and learn from there is that we become more mature and more uh, self-assurance 
and more helpful to each other and to our loved ones and our uh, uh, children. Uh, life is, is a learning process and all what we need to do is just enjoy what we're doing, enjoy life the best we can. And if we don't have good time, try to make it better than it is. Because if you see that a problem is there, if you see it too big, you cannot overcome it. But if you see that any kind of problem, it could be solved. It, it make you feel self-confident. It make you feel very good with yourself. And you become a very, very, uh, I would say, um, mature person in your own ways to cope with problems. I'm having my butterfly over here almost done because I know that our time is absolutely a wonderful scene, but it's sometimes not a good, helpful, because it goes too quick. I'm going to do just do this real quick to see how quick we could do this. I was thinking that maybe I should have done a, a modern butterfly instead of this one. But it's just this one is so gorgeous that I thought that it could be a wonderful gift. If, if, if you accomplish this, it will be a wonderful gift, a gift that you could give to anybody that you love in Christmas. Because anything that you could create is also a triumph of your own patience and a, a, your own way to... Um, uh, I would say um, be uh, uh, assertive and be um, creative. And creation is something that everybody enjoys. Uh, if you, uh, I remember that last, the first year that I came over here, I went to many different art, uh, art um, exhibitions over here, and I enjoy meeting beautiful creating artists around here and that makes me feel very good because uh, one of the things that art does is just if it wasn't for artists life would be very boring we we uh, perceive things differently and we give the gift of something that people enjoy to see and uh, many people do not realize what is behind an art uh, exhibition. They don't know how hard it is to put together an art exhibition and put all the things that we do there and all the things behind, behind that we have to accomplish. And I wish that next time that it, if you go to an art exhibition and start thinking uh, what it takes to make art what it takes to be devoted enough to create work of beautiful scene that people could enjoy and don't bargain too much with the prices because sometimes people do not uh, they wanted to have everything cheap and do not understand that behind this is a lot of effort a lot of work and a lot of money invested and most of the time we don't get it back but we paint because we love to paint we paint because we enjoy doing this. It's part of our nature, it's part of our way to see things. And uh, artists sometimes we are not well understood. And most of the time we don't have the um, support that we should have with some people. They don't, they don't realize how hard it is to put together an art uh, exhibition and also uh, become uh, 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 what they call over here vendors. <laughs> I didn't like that title too much. Um, but I enjoy very much people that I met in some art uh, exhibitions over here. 
I enjoy very much the people who gave me a lot of compliments, but never buy anything. <laughs> he gave me one of those uh, ironic, ironic scenes because I had many, many, many compliments in most of the art shows that I have been, but people hesitate to buy it. And I think somehow people should change their frame of mind instead to be bargaining with artists at least give them the benefit of approving their work by buying what we produce, what we give to the world. Uh, in many occasions, uh, I feel frustrated because I work really hard and m all my uh, friends who are artists have been through the same thing. We work hard but when we go to a um, when we go to an art show, people are bargaining and they don't want it to they don't want it to appreciate our work. That is something that it hurts. But it's part of life, and I just said that as a part of the thing that uh, make us being an artist. It's part of the way that we have to. Uh, recognize that people do not have most of the time the money or the time to enjoy they enjoy what we do but they don't uh, want it to uh, acquire what we don't but it's part of life also and I take it as it is I hope that uh, next year when you go to any art exhibition um, Think about that and buy what you like and what um, is being offered and have some, uh, uh, I would say, compliments. Oh, not only compliments, have some um, idea that artists need to live also, need to pay bills, and need to do things that sometimes, uh, like a normal human being, most of the artists have to have a job or have a career, another career because we paint because we love it but art sometimes doesn't pay uh, the bills very few artists over here in the United States had really made it uh, as a uh, only job they need to have second and third jobs to survive and it is a shame because many, many things could be uh, enjoyed if people will think about that. The other day I was in a store and uh, I was talking to a couple of persons over there that they've been buying letters and they said, I remember that when I buy letters, I, uh, I've been approving the work of many people who grew the letters and brought the letters to, to this uh, grocery store for me to get it and enjoy it. Well, same thing happened with art. If you enjoy watching, a, a, a viewing a, a wonderful piece of art, Think about what it is behind that and approve the, the artist by buying what they offer because it's very, very uh, beautiful to just give that a certain uh, to the artist. It's an assurance we need to pay bills too. In this case, I'm very fortunate that the Fulton County has been um, sponsoring these classes. Uh, I am totally grateful to them to make possible this because to me this is like a heaven. To me, be, be offering these classes have been one of the most absolutely fabulous things that I have done over here since I moved here.
Well, I have my butterfly almost done. And I'm going to do this part over here. I want to encourage you guys to visit also. Um, I belong over here to two art organizations, one in Roswell and another one over here in Alcafareta. And they're doing um, shows in... in um, in different places also they're doing shows in um, what's the name of that um, Avalon in the Avalon uh, building 500 and 600 there is a uh, art uh, exhibition going on please visit that and give your approval to those artists and help them buying their scenes and also enjoy buying scenes because if you bring to your home a uh, work of art it's going to be forever uh, for it being enjoyed forever in, in your own home or if you wanted to give a present that work of art it will be for long long years to be enjoyed I have to apologize because I forgot to put my phone away and this shouldn't be happening but sometimes life is that way sometimes we have to be uh, a little patient with each other I also want to thank today very very all the people who are giving me wonderful feedback in YouTube, YouTube and also in Facebook, I have to tell you that I'm sorry that I don't have the time to answer everybody um, personally because my time is very limited, but I am very grateful. Uh, I did a, a post mentioning that because I'm very very grateful to all of them who are giving me wonderful wonderful um, feedback I have my butterfly almost almost done and I hope that we have enough time to do the rest but I'm trying to be the faster that I could be in, a, in between the poinsettia is going to be easy to do because it's not so complex like this butterfly is and even if I am simplifying some of the markings it has a lot of markings <laughs> I hope that you enjoy my philosophy and I have a few things that I will tell you in a little bit because I, I am a very philosophical person. I take life as a learning process and sometimes um, I've been um, helping myself when I am frustrated with some philosophy and I have a few things that I want to share with you guys today. Uh, let me just finish this butterfly and I will let you... Uh, let you know some of my philosophy that I have uh, acquired uh, in a piece of paper over here. I'm very happy that Marco has been helping me in this because he's becoming my art partner in the future. We're going to be working together, hopefully. 
uh, if everything goes okay with this COVID-19, uh, I'm planning to give classes in my studio here uh, beginning in February. I'm going to take January to relax a little bit because this year has been tough for me too. I am uh, getting things uh, working, but like everybody else, I had had the same problems that you guys did financially and but thank god uh things are getting much better and marco have been a, 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 a total blessing for me because we get along very good and we are very similar in our way to think and he's very very uh, artistically fabulous artist okay my butterfly is almost done am I going to just do this little Okay, I'm just gonna do. I just gonna do the uh, the white markings because I have to let it dry, the paint to do this. And I'm going to just begin with the poinsettia to let this portion dry. In that way, I could do the markings in white. And my butterfly is getting really cute. I'm gonna do the body over here a little bit. It's just that she's so big that the, the wings are so big that um, don't show the body too well. But I'm going to make it very, very cute here. This is a cute butterfly. It's absolutely a work of art because it's very rare. I admire butterflies in many different regions of the United States, but one of the ones who are, for me, the more interesting one is the monarch. The monarchs are absolutely beautiful, and the fact that they do uh, grow in Mexico born in Mexico and fly from there to here it is absolutely amazing uh, last year I had um, I, I saw a film in uh, National Geographic Society of uh, butterflies that goes in uh, a tremendously big amount of butterflies, uh, monarch butterflies, and they born in a region of Mexico by the millions, and comes over here, fly from there to here, and go to Canada. Uh, to me, it is unbelievable that a, a, such a fragile insect could do this. While I'm making my my side over here, um, this portion over here is being drying right now. I'm gonna start doing my my poinsettias.
I always been telling you guys to do when you do a big areas to do one solid uh, stroke because sometimes if you do too many little ones the pain doesn't get really like it should be and that's what I am teaching you guys today to do one stroke and later on come back and and fill it up inside it's a good method of um, getting things done if you need to do it in a hurry and later on do the details it helps a lot to um, it helps a lot to minimize the effort but also it helps a lot to uh, get the pain uh, spread uniformly I'm mixing my um, my paint with the polymer that it helps to dry faster also and also give the consistency it, it gives like a little a shiny consistency to the paint that it is very cute is very very helpful In this case, I left the center of the, the poinsettia for the legs because the petals are very, very interesting to do. And if you wanted to do the center first and do the rest, that's okay. It's, uh, sometimes you have to develop, and this is something that I do to my students. I help them with uh, the portion of um, techniques but I also respect their own ways to do things I want them to be uh, assertive in their own uh, way to do things if you wanted to do seem different than me that is okay too but uh, the guidance is what uh, you need to have the guidance and the techniques painting is like everything else you have to practice you have to do your effort to keep practicing the better you practice the better you become and be very observant be very patient and also uh, be inspired uh, there is sin who inspire us and art is like everything if you feel it in your own soul something to inspire and give you that joy to be creating uh, something whatever the technique is you could learn it later on but the key with the scene is to feel it feel the inspiration to do things to, to create something that you watch also to impart to your hand what you perceive with your brain with your eyes and your brain the art it could be in many different ways uh, express it but in my case I am very very um, detailful and if I do see something I wanted to create it in the way that I am seeing it I, I don't know too much uh, I'm not too fan of um, uh, paintings who are um, uh, done uh, differently or, or abstract I'm not too good in abstract I got I admire when other people do does it because they see things that I don't see but I'm not too good in abstracts because when I see something I wanted to do it in the way that I see it in the way that I especially nature nature seeing and, and if, I, if I see something to inspire me I want to do to paint it in the same way that I'm seeing it because this canvas is not been uh, before priorly um, primate 
is giving me a hard time. But I want to keep going over and over again because it's absorbing too fast and it's not giving me the, the color that I need to have. But I want to go back and you let it dry and come back again and do another another coat. I hope that you observe how I also use my brushes. This is something that I, uh, when I was uh, learning, I observed many artists how they do the brushes. Particularly, I've been very fan of uh, Chinese brushes because Chinese people have the ability to be very precise with their brush strokes because the characters in their own language they are a stroke of pain. If you see a Chinese writing in the Chinese characters it's a stroke of pain and they do one, uh, the, the best that I have seen they do one letter in one's stroke and I always been wanted it to do that because it's very very minimizing the effort and it's very beautiful how the pain is uh, spread but most of the time if you learn how to do one stroke in big areas like this one the petals of these poinsettias are big if you learn how to do it in one stroke you will see how easy it is to create something very real in a, a minimizing the effort. Also, because poinsettia have a smaller, a smaller um, petals in the in the center and bigger in the uh, outside. Uh, if you do one stroke, it's easy to create that. I'm going to go on a second coat as soon as this one dries a little bit because the canvas is not helping me. The canvas, I didn't have the chance to prime it before I have this class and it's not helping me at all. But I'm not scared to keep going because I am one of those persons who never give up. I think it's one of my best quality. I might get frustrated but I don't give up. One of these things that is very hard to do and I'm going to try before this uh, uh, classes end in December 31st to teach you how to do water which is one of the hardest things to do. Um, I'm going to try to see if I could find something easy for you guys to learn how to do water. Paint water is have been one of my main um, reaches to, to, to accomplish and I did. I've been practicing painting water for many years and now I could say that I could just absolutely paint any reflection without any problem but it took me a while to get there it's like everything else it, it, everything else is uh, you could accomplish anything if you don't give up and if you are patient and you are uh, uh, persistent enough to keep trying and art is one of them you have to be persistent to keep trying I always believe that everything in life which gives you a little hard time is more worth it when you finish because you feel the accomplishment feeling that yes I could do it and that is one thing that I have uh, enjoyed all my life that if I have a challenge I could just 
accomplish that, it makes me feel so good because um, sometimes certain things are difficult to do and art is not easy but it's not impossible. If I could do it, you could do it too. I'm no better than you guys are. It's just I've been doing it for a long time and I've been stubborn enough maybe <laughs> to don't give up too easy and I've been practicing and practicing until I became good. But I assure you that there is no better feeling that conquer that part of us who gave us hard time. Because this painting is already dry, I could just do this to do my leave over here. And I'm going to give a little bit of paint on top of that and we are almost done. My poinsettia is getting there. I hope that you learn a lot with my philosophy. I hope that you learn a lot with my encouragement because I am one of those persons who love to uh, inspire my student. I've been doing it for many years. I've been inspired my stu student to acquire uh, and, and, and aim for better goals in their lives and get their own um, uncertainties uh, solve and, and, and force them their own self-esteem and their own um, satisfaction to accomplish something by themselves. Uh, it's part of my personality maybe that I am a very very um, uh, attuned with for being um, optimistic. Being optimistic is one of the better things that you could do in your life. Pessimistic people don't get any place, but optimistic people and and especially the people who keep trying and don't give up are the one who inspire other people, are the one who are winners and are the one who feel that yes, they could afford something good to the surroundings, the families and friends and the, the communities. And if you learn a little bit of history, the people who are, uh, we just admire these days, they are people who have been spending their time bettering their, themselves and, and getting themselves ahead of time in, in a better frame of mind being optimistic. Being optimistic is not easy because sometimes life put you in, in certain trials but if you remember that every single scene have a solution and if you are patient enough to find the solution you will find it. Absolutely. I, I assure you that that could be possible. Uh, when I began this uh, I have a person who discouraged me and told me that teaching online it was too hard and, and I couldn't do it and they didn't thought that I could do it and, and kind of a discouraged me and I think I've been persistent enough to keep trying and we finally I finally find a person who helped me and I finally f find the way to do it and that's what it counts. If I said no, I cannot do it, I will self-defeating myself and I will never be having this opportunity that to me is beautiful. Because to me, teaching you guys to do something that I know, it gave me double satisfaction because it gave me the satisfaction to do it, show you how to, and encourage you to keep doing it.
and give you the that part of me which is so optimistic that I don't feel that anything is impossible to do. Everything is possible if you wanted it to do it. Okay, I have my scene almost done and I'm going to just go back over here and let this part dry and, and, and do the outlining but I'm going to uh, give the uh, butterfly white markings and we are almost done. How much time do we have? 30 minutes. Set. Perfect. My partner here said that I have 30 minutes and I am totally thrilled because 30 minutes to me that is the best thing. Great. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my uh, brushes. That's another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys. Your brushes are your friend. Your brushes are the one who make you do things that you think that you're gonna do. It is good that you take care of your brushes the best you can, and also. Um, wash them once a week at, at the least I wash my brushes as much as I can almost every time that I can and uh, there are certain brushes that are so expensive that you have to take them and, and, and enjoy them but take good care of them because they are very expensive uh, and if I had the chance I'm going to Teach you guys what would be the best brushes that you could buy uh, according to your budget and help you to take good care of them because there's many ways that we could do that. I have to let this dry to do all the markings. Painting uh, white in top of black is always a challenge also because black is a very deep color, it's a very intense color and in oil uh, the uh, white color is more dense but in, in these colors that they are water based it is a little bit harder to acquire the same uh, results but I'm not going to get myself wind out, I'm just going to keep trying and make a thick coat and go over. And it's working. See what I tell you? If you don't give up, you could accomplish anything that you want to accomplish. <coughs> it's a matter of having patience. It's a matter of having the commitment to do it and let the paint dry and come back again. And I'm gonna get my little one and do Need a little bit. 
the little borders because the these butterfly have like a spike little borders. I don't know if you know that certain uh, insect the markings also they tell who they are if they are feminine or masculine and I had to learn this one because I didn't have a chance to learn all of that but uh, the, the feminine butterfly have different markings than the male butterfly And with my small brush, I'm going to do the borders and I'm going to go back to my poinsettia and we are almost done. It helps also to have a steady hand. I've been telling you guys that having a steady hand is absolutely necessary when you're painting. For those who have problems with that, I recommend you, in my previous class, I recommend you guys to have this, which helps a lot. It's a, a small, round piece of wood that you could buy in Home Depot. Don't buy it in, in the art store because it's too expensive there. And it helps you to get a better grip. Situations like this. I wish that I primed this canvas before, but because I shouldn't have to have so, such a hard time now to contend with the paint, but it's done and I have to deal with, and I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep doing it. And let me tell you, if I could do it, you could do it. I'm no better than you guys are. Okay, we are almost there. This is a beautiful butterfly and I, I was totally enchanted when I discovered her. 
I have several uh, difficult pa uh, butterfly paint, and one of them gave me the job in the senior center, which I really appreciate that very much because they love it over there. Okay, I'm going to go back with my black paint to minimize some of these lines. And this is what we call fixing, fixing, uh, not a booboo because it's not a booboo, but fixing excess of paint. And this is something that you could do easily if you have enough time in your home because when you're watching these videos you could go and rerun it all the time and 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 see what you had done wrong and go over and paint with the black a, a smaller finer line I hope that you are enjoying this because this is one of the most difficult scenes that I had done here in these classes. But I wanted to do scenes that they are not so easy because I have a student who are also very advanced and they get bored with very um, easy to do scenes. But I wanted to encourage my uh, other students, the one who are uh, less advanced to do not give up and try if you don't try you never know if you could do it the key of this is never give up keep trying and keep having faith that yes, you could do it. Having faith in yourself is one of the key in many different things. It's not only in art, it's also in life too. If you don't have sufficient faith, faith in, his, in yourself, you're lacking of self-esteem, please go back and think that yes, you could do it. That yes, you are capable to do it if you try. Don't self-sabotage yourself and try and keep trying until you master anything in life. Even if it is a career or it is a friendship or it is a marriage or whatever it is, uh, sometimes uh, things are not so easy to accomplish, but it's, they are not impossible. But if you don't try, you never know. You never know what you could do. And that's the secret of many things. Enjoy challenges. Challenges are the one who get you in good direction to see how much you could do. Challenges are the best teachers that we have in life. Because if you don't do it right the first time, you, if you give up and don't keep doing it, you never know what you could learn. And everything is like that in life. Sometimes life gives you the chance to improve yourself and do things better by giving you the challenges. And COP19 has been a challenge for many people. Have been a challenge for me too. But because I am very optimistic, I haven't given up. I'm purifying my markings over here, and I'm going to go and do the the um, poinsettia, and we are almost done. As you can see, this was hard to do, it was not too easy, but 
I, I look at it as a piece of cake and to me it's a piece of cake because if you look at things and say okay this is too difficult for me to do it this is self-sabotaging and don't do that ever if I could do it you could do it too Maybe it will take you a little longer, but you could do it. I'm no better than you. I promised myself that I'm going to do a very unique design for Christmas and I'm still thinking that Christmas is one of the beautiful time in the year to express not only the love that we have for each other, it's just to express something very spiritual. Okay, now that I have my butterfly done, and the body of the butterfly also done. I'm gonna do my poinsettia and we are almost done. And I'm happy that this came out in good direction. Because I need a little bit deeper red. I'm gonna mix a little bit of black with my red and that way I could do a very deep color over here. And I'm going to do the center, mixing a little bit of yellow with a little bit of orange. To make it pop up. mixing a little bit of red with a little bit of uh, black to make a deeper red and I'm going to just do the aligning and the center and we're done. And to make it more interesting, I'm going to just mix a little bit of dark sienna to get shades on it. I 
I mix a little bit of dark sienna with brown, red and black to do the center. To make it more interesting, I'm just going to create shapes over here. With black. and the borders of the petals in the center with a little bit of mix of brown, black, and red to make it a deeper color. As you can see, it's not so difficult to do. It's just a matter of being a lot of patient. And a lot of dedication. And that's what artists are. Artists are very dedicated. A good artist is a dedicated person. It's a very observant person. It's a very... Um, Maybe like me, that I tend to be very perfectionist. Sometimes it's hard to be perfectionist in a world that is so imperfect. But we try. And trying is the best thing that you could do. Nothing get accomplished if you don't try. I hope that the camera gets the colors because sometimes I've been wondering uh, and I normally do watch the, the videos after I finish and to see what I do better and what I could do better next time or what I did wrong for the camera to capture. Sometimes it's not easy to uh, the camera to capture all the variety of tonalities that the the paint could get but it is a good thing to keep practicing practice make a person not only much better it makes a person uh, 
more steady and more um, more uh, visually um, I would say um, visually uh, improve It takes a little while to coordinate the uh, perception of your eyes with your hand. But don't give up. Keep practicing. Practicing make the best all the time. If you practice all the time, you will see that you improve every time that you keep practicing something. Nothing is really impossible. We are almost, almost done. And I'm going to keep doing it really quick. I tend to be a little bit elaborated sometimes, and I know that is my poor, part of my problem, because I wanted to accomplish a difficult thing in a very small time, but this time we got it. We got the butterfly, which is very difficult to paint on time, and this is going to be a piece of cake. Initially, I wanted to do these classes three hours, but I have a lot of comments that three hours was too much for many people, and that's why we do it in two hours. But if you have the time, if you wanted to rerun these, these uh, videos and do it in three hours, you will see how better you become because when you do things with the pressure of time it doesn't help especially to the beginners it doesn't help too much but in my case i advise you to practice at your own pace and develop your own style i always encourage my students to develop their own style and i never try to change them for mine Sometimes they copy me, and it's okay, but sometimes if, if you wanted to just do the way you wanted it to do it, I'm okay with that. As much as you do acquire and get the results that you are looking for, I don't mind that you do it in a different way. And also, I love to have comments of your own perception and of comments of whatever you will help me because I always could have room for improvement. I always love to improve myself. I don't, I don't think I'm perfect. I think I, I could learn every time more and more. But it's part, it's part of the learning process. We all could improve ourselves no matter how good we could become. It's always room to get it better. And I wish that this canvas will help me, but it's a, it's a fight over here with this canvas because I didn't have the chance to prime it. The paint can get very absorbed and it's not giving me the, the room for help, help me. But it's okay. This is a challenge and I love challenges. And what can I do? I keep going.
also remember that the play of life, the light in every scene is also a primary factor. Light, even uh, if you don't have the specific light uh, that is similar to the uh, sunlight, try to create it. Remember that all the artist books that you could get, they will tell you that if you paint with the northern light, every single painting, it gets better because for some reason the northern light helps a lot to visualize something more pretty and more, more master type. Uh, I do have over here in my studio a combination of light and it, 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 it does help a lot. It does. I do have the fluorescent light and uh, plant light and the regular light and all combined it kind of a mimic a little bit the uh, sunlight and also this is a garage it's not a, a window that I could but I am also aiming to the north and that helps a lot I hope that you guys learned today something good to, to learn and something new and also that I could give you the the way for you to keep trying something more complex because so far we have been doing very easy paintings. This is a little bit more complex because our butterfly was a little bit complex to do but as you could see it's nothing impossible to do it. And I hope I, I made it easy for you to accomplish that. But if you wanted to try, if you don't get the best result the first time, keep practicing because that is the key of the whole thing. And the more you practice, the better you become. Watercolor is all another another media that I would like to teach, but this one, because it's a water um, uh, soluble, it gives you some bandages sometimes, but it, it gives you also hard time sometimes because water doesn't dry too quickly. It cry, it dries less quick than um, watercolor and it dries a little bit faster if you mix it with the, solid, the polymer that I'm using but it is sometimes a challenge for acquiring a good scene if the canvas doesn't help and my canvas today is drinking, drinking my paintings literally because I didn't have a chance to prime it. Remember also that in between scenes there is shades 
and I'm doing this one a little bit darker because this butterfly um, uh, body is right there on top and I have four more petals to go and we are done perfect I hope that you enjoy doing this because I, I do. Even if it's giving me a hard time, I enjoy doing this. It's a pretty, it's a pretty Christmassy scene that I really enjoy. Because I have a boo boo over here, I'm gonna use again my best friend, my Q tip, and get the boo boo out. Too much pain over here is not good. And I got it out. I told you that you guys always have handy a Q tip because the Q tip is your best friend when you're painting, especially with water. Okay, we are almost done, and we are almost and I hope that you guys have learned a lot today. I hope that you like my philosophy of don't let go and keep trying and never give up. My butterfly is done, my poinsettia is done, quickly I'm going to make my leaves over here, and we are done. Just to make it more appealing, I'm going to make another leaf over here to get a kind of a balance. And maybe another one over here. cleaning my brushes and I'm going to do the online and we are done. I'm mixing a little bit of darker paint, darker green to make the outline.
and this is the case of a very a very stubborn um, <laughs> a very stubborn um, <laughs> canvas that doesn't want to cooperate and, a, and, a, and an artist who's trying to make it anyhow <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in between to make it a little bit more appealing my other classes in the future when I am teaching in my studio I'm going to teach you guys how to create different colors and different shades mixing colors with Okay, one more to go over here. Real quick, and I am out of time, mostly, but I am not gonna give up. I have one more and that's it. And I'm back with my gel over here to make it more appealing. I hope that you have enjoyed this class because I have enjoyed doing it. I still have um, a stem over here to do, but we're going to call it a quit because time is really our worst enemy today. And the canvas has been not cooperating, but I hope that you have the pleasure to see a wonderful creation of God. It's a beautiful butterfly. Her, her name again is the uh, Leopard Lace Wing. And the uh, um, name, her name is uh, also in um, uh, a, a technical name is Letosia Agnani, and live in India, southern China, and Indonesia. And we get it over here for your gift for Christmas time. I hope that you enjoy this, and thank you for being with me. Love you. I wish I could see you next time, next Wednesday again. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Bye-bye.